Hey, I just want to show you the difference between a uh, monofilament suture and a braided suture. The braided suture is basically a, a polyfilament, which are multiple monofilaments uh, kind of wrapped around each other. So here we have a, a purple uh, absorbable suture that dissolves on its own. If you kind of go to the end of it sometimes, they can uh, start uh, fraying at the end here. you can kind of see how it's like coming apart in like different strands right so here you can tell it's it's actually I mean it looks like one string but it's actually multiple strings that are just uh, intertwined uh, into each other and that makes them braided right so I mean most a lot of sutures are braided so here we have one that says braided right braided absorbable we have a different one here another violet one it says braided um, another braided suture but but um, aside from the braided ones they also come in monofilaments such as this blue one here if you look it says monofilament all right so this this blue one here it's, it's a single strand so these will not have that fraying piece at the end of it here it's so you can focus right it's just a single strand kind of the same thing with this uh, yellow gold one as well all right these these ends do not fray apart um, you may be wondering what the advantages and disadvantages are uh, actually the, the ones that are a single strand will actually uh, tend to collect plaque and stuff less than the braided ones because as you can imagine the the, the braided braided sutures right it's when it comes like that uh, a lot of um, plaque and bacteria could kind of get trapped in there so it's not as clean but you know but since it has multiple strands it does make it a little stronger uh, but yeah so that's the difference between a monofilament suture and a braided one